that they're paid by a con. And they'll say, oh, 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 oh. I thought this was a good show. We had a Wee Bailey sign and a Brian's favorite show sign. Wee Bailey. Wee Bailey. <laughs> These people know. They know what's up. Wesley versus Dijak for the North American title. What a great, great match. Dijak is is too much of a cartoon character. And you know why it irritates me? No, he can I watch wrestle. cartoons. Cartoons are better than this. Man, that finger, which apparently they just relocated. So apparently it was missing right. there for a minute. Well, no, it was dislocated. I understand, Brian. Yes. I was making a joke. One's a virgin, the other one's a fornicator, and the fornicator is not a good wingman. Uh, this Casey, what's her name? Katana Chance. Katana Chance! Thank you, Brian. The large man shows up. I believe his name is Domicato. Domicato! Domicato? Who's the girl that's with Chase U? Via Hale! She is amazing. This yes. act is ridiculous. It's ridiculously awesome. She it is, is what it is. Such a gimmick, and I loved her, although she needs Adderall. Oh. No, no, don't change nothing. <laughs> change nothing about this woman. Overall, I, I think the match probably would have been a lot better if he hadn't hurt himself. I hope it's not too bad. Yeah, the first half of this show was definitely better in the second half, I'd say. Dijak gave it one sideways finger up. Wow, Craig. Wow. What? God, a horrible person. Lanny was once called the genius. The one trait that we shared in between us was not wrestling thrill or limerick writing skill, but a steady mouthful. <laughs> God. <laughs> Moving on. God. I do like that your censoring was a smoker's cough. That's well, better than gagging. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, you need to retire. <laughs> you peaked. Lanny was a master of prose. Threw frisbees at all the shows. I hope with effect he did not die standing upright. <laughs> or his casket will never be closed. Oh, God. Can we read <laughs> some that are not? I, I, didn't, I didn't see that one God. until I got there. <laughs> oh, good one. Lanny would constantly mourn all the smokers he once tried to warn. In life, he did good. But while he certainly could, he would never blow his own horn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picking like... <laughs> This is the the uh, uh, marriage gone wrong due to smoking section. Don't smoke, Sean. Are you still happy? Yes. <laughs> She's surprised. Yes. She can't wait. All right, Grant, through the wrestling report. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Bryant uh, versus Miz. Bryant? Who, who's Bryant? We're off to a hot start. Bryant. Me? No, Brian Donaldson or whatever his last <laughs> Brian name. Donaldson. Brian Donaldson, okay. I'll just go with that guy. He yeah. was Donald Bryan when he was in WWE. Ah. Kane tied Shane to the corner post and uh, put a battery charger on him. <laughs> where, do you, where do you hook it up to? He hooked it up to something that gave uh, Shane a shock. But where, where did he where did he hook it up on Shane? Well, I didn't want to say, but it was his private. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. God. Well, that must have been horrible. I just listened to a grown man who scratched the word grand, uh, private out of his own grandmother. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what a strange life I have. What happened to the Brookline uh, bunch? What happened to the Brookline Bunch? Usos and the Bloodline. The Bloodline. Bloodline. Okay. Not anymore. That now they're the Brookline Bunch. <laughs> the Brookline Bunch. Stay happy, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> He'll do his best. Sean will. All right. That's it. Now what? I have no idea what we do now. <laughs> Where do we go from here? He here, live on national television, confessed to at least vehicular assault, if not manslaughter. At one point, he said she was still breathing, but later addressed her lifeless body and talked about uh, switching places so the cops would think she was driving the car. There were fans who were so concerned they admitted this story on live television that they called hmm. the uh, police station. A large part of this story was true. There was a girl named Liv. They did have a good time, I think. That's the uh, rumor. He did get in a very, very serious car accident that involved hydroplaning and running into a tree. But apparently it was him and all of his high school buddies. So he did have a very, very serious accident in high school. 
And what he did was, I guess he took that story and he uh, embellished it. You watch wrestling for entertainment. You don't want to be reminded of things that suck. And so it, that, I'm sure for a lot of people, this is some heavy, heavy go away heat. I heard people say it was too close to uh, when Jay Briscoe passed away. Mm. If you feel that, I mean, I'm not going to say, you know, but it was not meant to uh, make fun of the Briscoes or Jay Briscoe or the family. It had nothing to do with that at all. I think the best five minutes of my entire day was watching these two kick and chop and punch each other. Shivani is interviewing two dorks. These two no talent hacks got more screen time than Cool Hand Dance and Daddy Magic. Do you like party matches? Have I got a party match for you? I watched Max Caster's rap. No, no joke, a dozen times. And I knew they were losing. And like every time I rewound it, I got a little more irritated at the thought of what was about to happen. Because they were so fucking over. The guns, they're going to beat the acclaim to become the tag team champion. Spoiler. They're going to have to tear it up in this match. And when this match is over, people are going to have to go, fuck, that was the best match of their careers. We were wrong. That's what they needed. We did not get that. No. In fact, we got the opposite. We got a TNA match yes. with ref bumps. Mm -hmm. Daddy ass runs in. You think he's going to turn, but then he doesn't. It was a horrible imitation of the kind of match that was hot for a while two decades ago, but nobody wants to see anymore. This had Jarrett stink all over it. The clothes were a mess. Their hair is a mess. They have not slept since Vengeance Day because they lost the tag title match. They see someone off camera and they're furious and they point and they say, you! And the camera pans over and it's Chase U going, you! Me! You! I'm going to call him Yabba Dabba Kido because it's easy to remember how to spell it that way. What? Yeah. Like, like You're doing a fucking radio show. I don't care how you spell it. No. It's important to me. God. And if you got a problem with Chase U, I got two words for you. At this point, it's 2023. So when you hear those words, you expect to hear Chase U or something other than the obvious. But she actually did a cross shop and said, suck it. They come out doing a half-assed, broken-hearted version of their entrance. I'm crying with laughter. They're so great. Like, I'm not going to sit here and go, you know what? This match was better than uh, than the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega versus Top Flight and AR Fox. But as far as, like, having fun, I had as at least as much fun as I had watching The Six Man. And maybe more. And then JC Jane, the heartbreak chick, super kicks Marty Ginger Nettie right in the chops. You waited all week for that one, didn't you? Throws her through the barbershop door. Chasey's trying to get through the door and boots her right in the face good lord uh there was something else in the middle here there's very Shawn michaels -esque. hey you know it's funny jc was dressed like Shawn michaels she had that same she was, leather jacket yes, yes she had the same jeans cropped up and fucking coincidentally she's getting a push all i know is i am fine with nxt just becoming an a, a weekly Shawn michaels tribute show